The inaugural induction to the Waterloo Hall of Fame was held on July 3, 1993, with the following being inducted. Russ Herrick. Russ enters the Waterloo Hall of Fame as the first non-graduate of the school system. Coach Herrick came to Waterloo in 1942. During his tenure, he coached football, basketball, and track. For 16 years, he was our head football coach. As athletic director at Waterloo, Russ was responsible for the growth of the program from six teams to full sport status during the 1950s. He developed modified freshman and junior varsity sports programs. A noted football and basketball official, Russ served as a signer of basketball officials as well as chairman of modified sports for Section 5 athletics. He retired as athletic director in 1969. Russ and his wife Jane reside in Lake Placid, Florida. They are the parents of two children and also have two grandchildren. Art Dinard graduated from Waterloo Central School in 1935. Football, basketball, and baseball were the sports in which he played. He achieved greater Rochester status in basketball. In 1939, he began many years of dedicated service to officiating football, basketball, and baseball. Art founded the Geneva Chapter of New York State Umpires Association and was elected president in 1950. As an umpire, he officiated professional baseball at the NYP and international league levels. Retiring from the American Can in 1980, Art and his wife Thelma reside in Geneva, New York. They have one son, Arthur. Bill Ireland was a four-sport athlete graduating in 1946. A Section 5 cross-country champion, Bill was also a member of the football, basketball, and track teams. At Syracuse University, he was the captain of the cross-country team, and in 1950, he was named Most Valuable Runner. He was an All-American on the 1951 NCAA Cross-Country National Champions. Bill was also a member of the 1981 4x100 mile relay team, which set the world record for runners over 50 years of age. He and his wife Mary Lou are residents of Geneva and parents of a daughter. Joel Lampson. A 1985 graduate of Waterloo Central School, Joel achieved notoriety as a member of the football, wrestling, and golf programs. He amassed a record of 140, 15, and 1 in his varsity wrestling career. Four times he was honored as Section 5 Class B champ and was named Outstanding Section 5 Wrestler in 1985. In 1985, he was also the New York State Champion at 119 pounds. For three years, he captained the Ithaca College wrestling team. As a junior and senior, he achieved All-American status. During those same years, he was a member of the National Division III Wrestling Championship team. Presently, Joel is a faculty member of the Ithaca City School District, where he teaches physical education and health. Joel also coaches both football and wrestling. Vicki Brown Murphy graduated from Waterloo Central School in 1982. Cross country and track were the sports that she excelled in. She was three times Section 5 champion in cross country, and in track and field, she was four times Section 5 champion in the 800 meters and 1500 meters. Five Waterloo School track records still belong to Vicki. A high school All-American in the 1500 meters, she also was named Athlete of the Year in 1982. At Villanova, she was Big East Champion in the 1500 meters. And for two years, she achieved All-American status in track. Vicki and her husband Martin live in Huntingtown, Maryland with their two children. Don Laux, a 1954 Waterloo graduate participating in football, basketball, baseball, and track. Letters were earned in all four sports. Don achieved all league status in both basketball and baseball. In basketball, he was named to the All-State First Team. State honorable mention in football was also earned. At Cortland State, Don was a two-sport starter in both football and basketball. Don and his wife Joanne are Seneca Falls residents and are the parents of four children. Monica Bertino Wooden. A 1977 graduate of Waterloo Central School, 
She was a four-year varsity starter in volleyball, soccer, basketball, and softball. In each of these sports, she captained the team, as well as being named Most Valuable Player. Her senior year brought her the honor of being named Athlete of the Year. Monica was a three-year varsity starter in basketball and softball at Ithaca College. During the 1977-78 basketball season, she was named Rookie of the Year. And a college career 331 hitter, her single best season record was 1978 with a batting average of 404. Beyond college, she continued in athletics as a member of the Atlanta Athletic Tennis Association and Soccer League. She is married to Stephen Wooden and has two children. John Swites. A 1978 graduate of Waterloo Central School, he performed for both the basketball and baseball programs. He was all league in basketball for three seasons as well as the team MVP. As a junior and senior, he was a member of the all Greater Rochester basketball team and all state as a senior. John played four years of varsity basketball at Richmond University. A starting player for three years, he also captained the team in his last two seasons. His senior year brought him Division I All-American status as well as first team All-Virginia. Drafted professionally by the Boston Celtics, John played for Albany and Cincinnati of the CBA and for Seattle and Detroit of the NBA. Today he lives in Los Angeles with his wife Christina and daughter Katrina and is employed by the city school system as a teacher and coach. Tom Coughlin graduated from Waterloo Central School in 1964. He was a participant in football, basketball, and baseball. As a football and basketball player, he achieved all league status. In football, he was also all state. His record of most touchdowns in a season still remains. At Syracuse, Tom was a three-year varsity starter. While at the university, he received the Orange Key Outstanding Student Athlete Award. Tom has succeeded at both collegiate and professional levels in coaching. He was a member of the 1990 New York Giants Super Bowl champion staff and the 1992 Division I Coach of the Year at Boston College. He is currently the head coach of the NFL's Jacksonville Jaguars. Married to the former Judy Whitaker, they are the parents of four children. The second annual induction ceremony was held on May 29, 1994 and included the following athletes. Ted French was a three-sport varsity athlete in football, basketball, and baseball. Ted received the Athletic Director's Award upon graduating in June of 1976. At Ithaca College, Ted played varsity baseball for four years. In his last two years, he was selected All-ICAC. Professionally, Ted played for the Auburn Astros in 1980. Presently, Ted resides with his wife, Pam, and her daughter, Jessica, in North Hornell, New York. He is a senior resident instructor at the Steuben County ARC. Jim Sessler was a unanimous all-league linebacker, as well as achieving state honorable mention in football. Jim received nine letters in lacrosse, track, basketball, and football. He was the 1974 Coaches Award winner as Athlete of the Year. At Syracuse University, Jim played in all 44 regular season football games. As a running back, he was successful in 72 out of 74 third down carries. At this time, he is Vice President of Continental Cordage and a resident of Casanova, New York. Jim and his wife, Conky, have two children. Linda Galinsky, a 1983 graduate of Waterloo High School, played four years of varsity cross country, basketball, and track. Her high school honors include three years competitor in the state meet in cross country and track section five champion in cross country and the 800 and 1500 meters in track. First team all league in basketball in 1982 and 1983. At the University of Buffalo, she was New York state champion in the 800 meters second nationally in the 800 meters, as well as a six-time All-American in indoor and outdoor track. Linda is presently manager of the Sports Authority in her home, Coconut Creek, Florida. John Gee, former professional athlete, John taught and coached football, basketball, 
and baseball in Waterloo from 1943 through 1955. From 1955 through 1960, he was principal of the Waterloo High School. Tremendous growth in our athletic program took place at this time. A Big Ten academic All-American at the University of Michigan in 1936 and 1937, John also pitched for both the Pittsburgh Pirates and the New York Giants. John moved to Cortland in 1960 and served as a school administrator until retiring in 1977. Throughout his career, he was a noted high school and college official in central New York. After a few years in Harrisonburg, Virginia, he and his wife returned to Cortland in 1980. He died there in January of 1988. Terry Moose Manfredi, three-sport captain and four-year letter winner in football, basketball, and baseball. Terry graduated from Waterloo in 1963. His honors include membership of both the first undefeated football team and sectional winning basketball team. He also received all league honors in football. He graduated from both Ferrum Junior College as well as East Tennessee State where he started every football game. In Florida, Terry became a successful high school football coach at two schools in Orlando and one in Port Orange. At the University of Central Florida, Orlando, he served as an assistant football coach in 1982. He was also a respected baseball umpire, as well as college basketball official. His wife, Lynn, and children reside in the Orlando area. Terry died in January of 1983 as a result of a boating accident. Francis Red McDonald excelled in football, basketball, and baseball from 1926 to 1929 for Waterloo High School. He was selected All-State in all three sports. He captained the New York State champion basketball team that competed in the national finals in Chicago. Later, after high school, Red turned down an offer from the Washington Senators of the American League. He became a senior buyer at Sylvania, retiring in 1974. He and his wife Mary presently live in Sebastian, Florida. For four years, Ed Zukowski played football, lacrosse, and wrestled at Waterloo High School. A member of the class of 1967, Ed set the single season total yardage record. He achieved all league as well as all upstate status in football. As a wrestler, Zook was a 145 pound section five champion. In his senior year, he was a member of the first lacrosse team at Waterloo. While attending Cortland State College, he played football for four years and wrestled for two. He led the team in rushing his junior year and graduated in 1972. Since that time, Ed has been a faculty member and coach at Peru Central School, as well as a real estate developer in Plattsburgh, New York. He and his wife Amy have two grown children that also live in the Plattsburgh area. Chris Schaefer was a member of the class of 1976. Chris received honors in football, wrestling, and track. An all-league team MVP in football, Chris is one of two Waterloo graduates ever named to the all-greater Rochester football team. In wrestling, he was the team MVP and Section 5 champ and was state semifinalist. As a shot putter, Chris obtained the school record and was again a Section 5 champion. He received the Coach's Award in 1976. A four-year football letterman at Syracuse University, Chris started his freshman, sophomore, and senior years. He also played in the Independence Bowl. A resident of Waterloo, he is a project superintendent for Sessler Wrecking. He and his wife Jane have two children. The third annual induction ceremony of the Waterloo Hall of Fame was held June 11, 1995 at the Seneca Falls Holiday Inn. As a 1937 graduate of Waterloo Central School, John Grela was a legendary performer in track and field. While practicing at Maple Grove Fairgrounds, John worked to excel in the 100 and 220 yard dashes as well as the long jump. His feats included times of 10 flat in the 100, 
22.8 in the 220, as well as a long jump mark of 23 feet 10 inches. With three cracked ribs, he won the sectional title in both the 220 and the long jump. John and his wife, Jean, presently reside in Auburn, New York. They are parents of two grown daughters with families of their own. Pete French graduated from Waterloo Central School in 1959. He was a first team all-star in both baseball, pitcher and outfield, and basketball, where he played guard. In football, he was named to the second team all-league quarterback. After a two-year stint in the Army, Pete began a 15-year relationship with the semi-pro baseball Waterfall Cardinals. For the last 13 seasons, he has coached baseball at DeSales in Geneva, acquiring six sectional titles. He and his wife Mary are residents of Geneva and have one grown son. In 1976, John Bertino was awarded both Most Valuable Player Awards in football and baseball. He was also a member of the Waterloo High School basketball program. While at RIT, he was honored as Defensive Back of the Year in 1977. At Ithaca, in 1980, he was named Defensive Player of the Year. John was both a member of the Ithaca 1979 Division III Football Championship Team and the Ithaca 1980 Division III Baseball Championship Team. His sister Monica Wooden was inducted to the Hall of Fame in 1993. He and his wife Alyssa have two children and reside in Pensacon, New Jersey. As a graduate of the class of 1953, Chuck Yost earned eight varsity letters. He was awarded three New York State Public High School Athletic Association shields in the 432-yard shuttle hurdle relay, 440-yard dash, and the shot put. At the Section 5 meet, he threw the shot a record toss of 47 feet 3 inches. His Waterloo mark of 48 feet 4 inches stood until 1974. Chuck continues to this day to participate in track and field, cross-country skiing, and long-distance running. He has earned over 25 medals in the Empire State Games. Chuck and his wife Joyce are Waterloo residents and are parents of three grown children. The seventh annual induction to the Waterloo Sports Hall of Fame, Friday, July 2nd, 1999. A 1956 graduate of Waterloo High School, Fred Perro excelled in both baseball and football. The talented Southpaw succeeded at Waterloo High, at Oswego State, as well as for two Central New York semi-professional teams at the turn of the decade of the 1960s. Fred was an all-county offensive tackle. As a starting pitcher at Oswego State, he won 75% of his decisions. In 1996, Fred retired from Shell Oil. He spent 36 years with the company. He rose to the title of Manager of Office Leasing. Presently, Fred and his wife, Mary Jane, live in Spring, Texas. They are parents of three grown children. Desiree Burgos Dolly graduated in 1981. She is most remembered for her accomplishments as a runner in both cross country and track and field. The 1981 Athlete of the Year also captained the Waterloo Girls varsity basketball team in her junior and senior years. While a member of the cross country team, she qualified for state championships and the nationals. In the spring, she excelled in the mile, two mile, and the two mile relay team. As a member of the Southwest Missouri State University cross country team, she qualified for nationals in 1981. That year and the next, she also participated in their track program. She and her husband James are the parents of four boys. Tom Swites is the third member of his family inducted into the Sports Hall of Fame. Tom was Athlete of the Year in 1984. Though known primarily for his basketball game, he also completed the 1984 baseball season with a record of 7-1. During his high school career, Tom was all leagues and all Greater Rochester in both his junior and senior seasons. As a senior, he also received all state recognition. At Worcester Academy, he received all tourney honors and captained their championship team. While at Clarkson University, 
He led the team in three offensive categories and was named Most Valuable Player and an All-Star in the ICAC. Tom and his wife Pam and their family reside in Waterloo. Joe French today is varsity basketball and varsity softball head coach at Geneseo State College. At the college, he also instructs physical education. A three-sport high school athlete, Joe was all-conference in football and a four-year starter and senior year most valuable player in baseball. At Brockport State, he captained the baseball team his junior and senior years. During that time, he led the team in hitting, home runs, and runs batted in. Prior to arriving in Geneseo, Joe spent 10 years at Alfred State College as director of intramural recreation sports and women's basketball coach. Joe then coached softball and women's basketball at Mansfield University. In 1991, he moved on to the U.S. Naval Academy as the assistant women's basketball coach. Joe has won over 300 games in his career in college coaching. He and his wife Kathy have two young sons. Jim Scully spent his professional career and public life in and around sports. A 1941 graduate, Jim was all county in football, basketball, and baseball. He was also a valuable member of the soccer program. He captained all four teams. His leadership skills continued at Brockport State. He played varsity soccer, basketball, and baseball. He captained all three of those teams. His involvement in sports as a participant and coach lasted over 40 years. Jim and his wife Meredith have two grown children. The eighth annual induction to the Waterloo Sports Hall of Fame Saturday, October 21st, 2000. Basketball and track and field were the sports of choice in high school for Tom Curl. Voted the best defensive player in basketball as a senior. Also, his final year in school, honored as the team MVP in field events. He played four years of college hoops, two at Elmira and two at SUNY Plattsburgh. Tom captained Plattsburgh in his final season and has rolled up more than 200 career victories as a college basketball coach. His career winning percentages at Alfred State College and Tycho Post Connecticut University are the best in school history at both institutions. Bob Didsbury Jr. is the first honoree who represents a second generation inductee within the same family. A three sport athlete who excelled in baseball and football Bob was an all-league and second-team all-greater Rochester receiver and the team MVP and Triple Crown winner as a senior baseball player. He played both sports at Ithaca College. A four-year starter for the Bombers, he appeared in four Northeast Regional NCAA playoff games and four College World Series. John Dunn's career at Waterloo spanned three decades. Starting in the 1950s, he coached the Indians to Section 5 basketball championships in the 70-71 and 71-72 seasons. He also served as a class and varsity club advisor and assistant football coach. The 1956 SUNY Potsdam graduate spent 30 years as a teacher, principal, and district superintendent. Since retiring in 1986, he has served as interim superintendent in 14 different school districts. Dan McNulty starred at Waterloo as a pitcher and running back and was also an exceptional bowler. He achieved a rare honor for an athlete from the Northeast when he was drafted by the Cleveland Indians in 1966. Dan passed up the opportunity to play pro baseball and attended Fort Lauderdale, Florida University instead, where he earned his degree and played two years of college baseball. Cindy Dolly Steffen was a pioneer in girl sports at Waterloo. She played a key role in the advancement of soccer, volleyball, basketball, and softball at the school, where she captained the basketball team as a senior after playing four years on the varsity. A Finger Lakes All-Star and multiple award winner in her final hoop season, she also won team MVP honors in soccer and softball. Collegiately, she played basketball at SUNY Morrisville and rugby at Syracuse University. She now volunteers her time as a Little League baseball and softball coach and indoor and outdoor youth soccer coach. Dr. Henry Vikes 
was a high school standout in tennis and cross country. In 1956, the top-notch student earned honors for having the highest average among athletes who earned three letters. At SUNY Cortland, he earned seven varsity letters and was Cortland's tennis MVP on three occasions. Following Cortland, he picked up advanced degrees at Columbia and California Coast Universities. He spent 30 years as a physical education instructor at the United States Military Academy.